What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are starting on day number two of painting the car actually. Here we have the car all wrapped up. Waiting for me to finish painting the rest of the pieces so let's get going. So here we have the next batch of things being painted. Got the trunk, fenders, mirrors, handles, and rear window trim pieces. I wasn't going to film anything else with painting just because I didn't want to kind of bore you guys, but I decided that I wanted to do a kind of more detailed video on painting instead of how I did the last one. Honestly, I was just really nervous about painting and I didn't want to focus on filming. Um, but now that I've kind of got the jitters out about painting, um, I figured I'd do a little more detailed video. So, yeah, I'm going to be giving these the final wipe down. Then I will mix up some paint and lay some color. Alright guys, going to do the final wipe down. I have some wax and grease remover, paper towels. When you're doing this, a good thing to keep in mind is don't just rub it with your paper towel. Do one swipe, get a new surface, one swipe. One swipe per surface. That way you're not spreading contaminants from the previous wipe onto the next wipe. So you're going to go through a lot more towels, but you'll have a cleaner surface. So. That's what I recommend. So the color I went with for my car is just the stock Subaru color, which is the code 559 Brilliant Red. Um, I went with that color just because of the simplicity of it, of the engine bay and other parts of the car are going to be the same color and I didn't want to mix match a bunch of colors onto the car. So that's what I went with. Make sure to always stir it up really well before you use the paint just to make sure everything that's separated is all mixed together again. And then I would recommend getting these paint cups from, mixing cups from whoever. I got these from East Eastwood. Um, these are nice because it has all your mixing ratios. This particular paint has for a one to one and a half mix ratio, so I can just go right here to one and a one by one and a half. That just means there's one part paint and one and a half parts of um, reducer mixed into it, which is that over there. And so you find the one part, fill it up to the one, then the next row over is the one is the next part, fill that up to the one, and you have a perfect mix right there. So it makes it really easy. I'm going to be doing a full full one that should I should be able to paint everything with just one. I'll start with that and see where it takes me. So I'll be filling it up to the five and then reduce your five. So yep.
All right, have the base coat on. Everything went down really smooth. It looks good. So far, no imperfections. It's a lot easier than painting the whole car. <laughs> the roof sucks because you can barely reach it, but all these are super easy compared to that. But now I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Let's go mix up the clear and apply it. All right, with this clear coat, it says here, if we can, there we go. We have a four to one mix ratio. So that's four to one of the clear, or four parts clear to one part activator, which is right here. So again, look at our lines, four to one. Just follow the, the steps, pretty simple. So let's mix it up. that's a wrap and I am actually really happy with how these turned out they're like actually very minimal orange peel I can look at these and say okay my car's gonna look good after I did the First round on the body, not so much. There's a lot of orange peel in there. And the main problem was I just went too fast in spots with the clear coat. I didn't realize how slow you have to go to get a good thick coat on for it to, to get down and then settle together. So these, it's actually like a real paint job instead of just throwing paint at it.
and that makes me pretty happy. I was getting kind of discouraged after the first round. Ugh, the bug. Got a few bugs in it, unfortunately, but not much you can do when you're painting outside. But yeah, round two done. Pretty pumped with how it turned out. So, it's late and I'm tired, so I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm stoked on the progress that we're making. I am not going to be filming my the rest of the panels as I paint them. I still have both bumpers and the spoiler to do. Um, I'm just going to do those. So the next video that you're going to see of the car, I will be doing final assembly. So it's going back together finally and it's going to be one color. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Um, we have all the parts for the truck to install the transmission. So we're hopefully doing that tomorrow night if we have time. So you guys have some videos coming. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. The likes really help me. So thank you everyone again and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.